Now, if you're a sportsman, a fan of any sport, watch this video and it might give you a little bit of inspiration because it's Mason Cox, Don't Believe in Never. If you enjoy it though, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tell YouTube that you're enjoying my videos. Let's go. When Mason came to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it, because no one had ever done it. Aussies call uh, Aussies call British people pommies. Fair enough. Um, British people call American Yanks. Do, do Aussies also call Americans Yanks? Let me know. Mason Cox, redshirt senior from Ireland Village, Texas. He's only played six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma State University, so I started out playing basketball when I was a freshman. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the rec center, and there was a GA at the women's team, and she asked, would you be interested in helping out? Pretty much called the dream team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, yeah, cool, like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit, and I was like, sweet. The men's team saw me training with the women's team. One of the coaches said, who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? I'm like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head, barely could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. We got a call. They wanted me to go to LA to try out for this thing called AFL, uh, Aussie Rules Football, and we both looked at each other and we said, what the hell is that? And it comes up and it's... <laughs> is this not basically the first thing I did when I uh, did my first Aussie Rules video? I wonder if it will show the same thing. Look, AFL's biggest hits. Oh, biggest hits. Ouch, your mama. Ouch, your mama. Oh, hello. Oh. We all have a biggest hit video, eh? I'm just going to and and going, is this really a sport? <laughs> I'd already accepted a six-figure paying job at ExxonMobil. So I went to the trials. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage. Made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia, and my life changed. The whole concept of me coming to Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points, that's a point. It's the post, it's worth a point, you know. What's interesting, actually, is the fact that he's obviously a really tall person. And the main link is that Ruckman, I think I've got the term right, the Ruckman is the guy that jumps and competes for the ball when... Um, either when the umpire throws it up or um, in defence. And I've been saying, and other people have been saying, think of it that position more like basketball. And so clearly there's that link straight away. Uh, they point the are you seeing it here? Whenever they really mean that way. And at the end of it, I remember he goes, okay, cool, so these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. The international rookies are whopping 211 centimetres. He's a tall the boy. Same height as Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite exciting. <laughs> I were getting on the plane and I thought, what have I just done? I've just given up five years of hard work and thousands of dollars of education to go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. Now... I've got, I've, I've had plenty of comments saying, oh, it's fantastic you're reacting to AFL. Um, we love people reacting to our sport. Now, just from looking at the tweets and messages that this guy had, it was comments such as, oh, an American will never make it in, in AFL, Aussie rules. Now, from an unbiased view, guys, do you think, you Aussies, do you think that's the case where you've got that no outsiders playing type thought you know this is this is this is our sport we don't want outsiders is that a, is that the case you know would you guys be happy to have have english people playing you know in your teams now I'm, this is a question it's a discussion it's not um oh all, all aussies don't you know hate foreigners that's not the point i'm making at all what i'm saying is is the culture accepting um, of, of outsiders, I suppose, playing the game. 
Let's take a footy in my hand. I thought it was uh, pretty much rugby ball. Like I had no idea the kangaroo skin and a Sharon is like the name of it. And I don't know. Like it was all so foreign to me when I first started. His kicking, his kicking was quite average. It was a crash course essentially of just what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Rocker spent two and a half months with him so cool. training the first day. It was sink or swim really. We do this one drill and you get a handball off to the coach and of course Bucks is the one who you're handballing to. Got a handball to him. And I just remember looking at it and I look back and going, okay, we've got a bit of work to do here. I like locked eyes for a second and I can just see in my mind just what have we recruited? <laughs> Players generally have a lot going on, but Mason's still trying to work out this new game, whether it fits, if he fits. Am I embarrassing myself? But at the end of the year, I got to the point where I was thinking, I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game. Fox was the first one to tell me. Okay. Look. I'm sure, Col I'm sure people have been in the comments have been saying Collingwood versus Essendon is a big game. Look at the size of that crowd. I'm sure there's no cricket grounds over here that are that size. Now I live near the uh, near the Rose Bowl in in the UK. What's it now? No, now called the Aegis Aegis Bowl because it's after the insurance company. But I'm sure that's nowhere near. Look at this is huge, absolutely huge. It seems more. It seems bigger than a football pitch because obviously the size of the field and more. You can fit more. Imagine walking out to that. That just is awesome. And you know what you Aussies are like? You Aussies are mental. In a nice way, of course. Hey, I said, look, you're going to debut. And that week was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously. And it's one of the biggest games of the year. The crowd's 90,000 plus. The stadium is massive. It just leans over the top of you. So that's challenging enough. I walked out there and I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know. I didn't know what to do. And... I was thinking, don't screw up, just whatever you do, don't screw up, don't screw up. Oh, man, he's shitting himself. <laughs> I can't imagine what it's like to try and himself. drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it under we the use that time. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. They were obviously trusting him to take the kick, though, to be fair. Not that we needed to keep him grounded, but it was our job to keep him grounded. Stands in the MCG to stay this world. It's bloody hard. It's a big step from the VFL footy that he was playing to playing AFL footy. At the end of 17, was playing People VFL, can be brutal. You know, got dropped. And I say that people can be brutal. I'm brutal. Nathan Redmond for Southampton. Just, ugh. Anyway, separate issue. A few times we were playing small. He had to set, him, to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. Saturday night football at the Coliseum. Come through Cox. John Swinney should have taken. Oh, he could block out the big fella. Oh. Mason Cox here, guys. This was just off the ball. I had the worst oh. game of my career. I can probably say that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game and had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a low moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I said, you know what? This is a last ditch effort to show them what you're worth, to show them you can do this as a job. This is your career that you want to do for the rest of your life. Look at that stadium light up. This tiger has become on and off the field. 22 consecutive wins of the MCG. It's hard to get your head around it, to be honest. We played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. This could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in. Prelim final in. Sorry, did he just say this could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in? CG, Matt Stebby holds the ball. It's the stadiums, man. The stadiums are incredible. It was in, it was clunk, clunk, clunk. Mark after Mark. He's got a point to prove. Another point. 
fans are so fickle in all sports, in all sports that fans are passionate about. One minute they can absolutely hate someone and the next they're absolutely loving them. It's similar with being a referee and the fact that you can't win. You just like, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't sometimes. And, and it's, uh, it must be tough. And social media, especially these days, oh man, social media, people, people share their opinions as I've experienced on here already on YouTube. Could you have pictured that four years, five years earlier with the guy that handballed over the top of my head? Um, definitely not. I don't believe in ceilings. I don't believe in people setting limitations on others. I think if you're motivated enough and you care enough or that determined to get to wherever you want to go, it's, it's possible. I think, I think this is a story of, well, for starters, he, he ventured into an, the unknown. Bravery straight away because it's, it's, it's easier to, it's easier to stick to what you know you know, it's like going to a restaurant every week and having the same food every week, sort of, if you think of that analogy. But he was brave. He, he went, he left America, took up a sport he had no idea about. You know, that, that takes some courage. But also then, learning from your mistakes. Now, in this sense, it's, it's playing mistakes and, 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 and learning from your mistakes to get better. And it's and, and it's almost something everyone should be doing. Now, obviously, this is a AFL. This is a sports, but you can you can almost relate this to, to most things in life. You know, when you fail, get back up, get back up and try again. An interesting one, and, and I think uh, even if you don't, even if you're not watching my AFL videos, that's cool. This is one that you could probably watch because it is a story that could relate to any sport. You know, think of it, I don't know, football. Um, a, a, oh, a baseball player becoming a goalkeeper in football. I don't know. I don't know. I'm riffing off the top of my head. Um, but it could be relatable to any sport. So it's interesting. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. And I will catch you next time.